It's a monitor. A monitor, yes, but not just any monitor. It's from a company you've probably heard of, but you probably didn't see coming in this video. NZXT. NZXT makes monitors now. I know, I know. Who would have thought? This is their Canvas 27F and just a very brief run through of the different SKUs they currently offer. Uh, the 27 stands for the diagonal size of the panel, so 27 inches. This F stands for full HD, so it's a 1080p monitor. They also have a 27Q for quad HD uh, and the refresh rate drops from 240 hertz in this case to 165. They have a 32Q, which is also a 165 hertz panel, uh, but obviously a bit larger, 32 inches. And they have a 25F, which is a slightly smaller smaller 25 inch diagonal panel, also in the full HD resolution. Judging by these prices, my personal opinion is that the 27F or the 27Q are gonna be the best bets just from a value perspective. I really like the fact that the Q variant is only about 20 or 30 bucks more than the full HD version. And I think at 27 inches, that's really gonna come in handy having that extra PPI bump. Uh, the 32Q is just for folks who are gonna want something a bit larger. Obviously the 25 is smaller uh, and the price differences across the board aren't stark. If you want to choose between black and white variants of the canvas as well. Uh, this is something that you might end up paying more for from other companies. NZXT's pretty much level the playing field here. You're gonna pay the same price for either the black or the white monitor, which I think is pretty cool. We've partnered with NZXT to highlight some of the differences between the canvas models, as well as what separates these from more vanilla mainstream panels on the market. Are you ready? Stay with me. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. Let's kick things off then with what I believe to be the biggest difference between an NZXT canvas panel and others you might find on Amazon or Newegg. The fact that you don't get an included monitor stand in the box. That's right, NZXT expects you to hold the monitor up with one hand and game with the other. I'm just kidding. It, it might seem like a cash grab on the surface, I get that, but if you think about it, there's a lot of folks out there who don't use included monitor stands at all. They use universal base amounts, they have dual arm mounts, things like that. I use a dual arm mount and I just, I never take advantage of the one included. And you actually do pay a bit more for that. It affects the price of the panel. So what NZXT's done is split them apart. If you want an NZXT branded monitor stand, you can just buy one. They sell them separately. And as a result, the price of their panels are a bit lower. So this stand looks to be pretty heavy duty. Get all this stuff out here. Looks like one large screw from below holds the arm in place and it's toolless, so that's nice. And it looks like monitor installation is also toolless. Doing it from this angle is not advised. There we go, it just clips into place. Super easy and you can see we've got uh, pivot up and down. Pivots, well, what is this? I forget what they call this. You can also rotate it side to side and you can move it up and down. So pretty much every axis imaginable you can adjust this monitor. I think that's a pretty worthy addition if you're not already using a universal vase mount. As for panel design, you'll find a small NZXT logo just barely visible here at the bottom, a single toggle behind the right side for menu navigation and power, and underneath a plethora of ports, including a DisplayPort 1.2. Remember, you don't need 1.4 for 240 Hz 1080p. The bandwidth requirements are, are much lower. Uh, two HDMI 2.0 ports, USB 3.0 Type A, there's two of those, a uh, single Type C port, there's also a Type B port port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I know this doesn't matter to a ton of you, but you can see the design from behind looks very sleek. It's very NZXT-esque, so to speak. Uh, you've got these perforations in the monitor stand if you do add that to your uh, basket, and then you can write your cables to this cutout below. By the way, these are the cables you get in the box. If you're curious, a USB type B cable, a HDMI cable, a display port cable, a type C cable, and the power cord. Unfortunately, the power adapter is not integrated, so you will have a brick to deal with, but it does mean that the panel can be slightly slim which means it'll sit more flush with your wall or stand. Now I wanna get into picture quality, which is one of the most important aspects of any monitor. So this is the 1080p 240 Hertz variant, remember? And it's also an IPS display, which means it's gonna have really great colors. We'll show you some examples here in a second, but one of the downsides of IPS tends to be ghosting or the remnants of previous frames lingering on screen a bit longer than they typically should. In these slow motion shots, you can see that there aren't noticeable tails lingering behind these UFOs. If there are, they're just slight and for an IPS 
panels is actually really good. We've objectively reviewed other IPS panels in the past that have noticeably longer tails than this. So in the ghosting department, if you're worried about that for an IPS display, I'd say this passes just fine. This will really help for games like League and Dota, especially where you might have text sliding across the screen. If you have very bad ghosting, that text will look very blurred. You can see here at 240 FPS, the text is very legible. Color reproduction, as you might expect for an IPS display, is pretty darn good. This is VESA Display HDR 400 certification, which means it's going to be a bit brighter than your average panel. In fact, according to them, these should be among the top 15% of PC displays out there, uh, just in terms of color, in terms of brightness, and in terms of contrast. A thousand to one here. This also has AMD FreeSync built into it. Trying to think if there's anything else. I'm gonna pull out my cheat sheet, don't mind me. Let's see here, looks like a, man. oh, one millisecond response time. Did I mention that? I guess we kind of did with the response time uh, discussion earlier, the ghosting issue uh, that a lot of IPS panels have can be resolved by reducing the response time. And one millisecond's pretty much as good as it's gonna get for IPS panels in this price range. One of the really cool feature of NZXT Canvas monitors is the fact that you can use NZXT Cam software to control aspects of the display itself. So instead of using the toggle at the rear, we talked about a bit earlier, kind of navigating that way, up, down, left, right, pushing in, blah, blah, blah. You can simply use cam to set picture profiles. Now this will require that the monitor be connected to your PC with the included USB uh, type B cable. Uh, but once you've got that taken care of, it's gonna be very easy to start changing things in NZXT cam. Just scroll down here to the monitor tab and you can very easily change things like the color temperature and look how quickly this stuff is applied. There we go, warmer, we can switch to cooler. Uh, and there are so many different things to change. You've got picture settings here. You can change the contrast and brightness so very easily. Now this is nice, you know, if you don't want to fiddle around with a toggle at the rear of a monitor, just use NZXT Cam. And another quick thing, you can match picture profiles within Cam to certain applications in Windows. So as long as Cam's running in the background, if you open up, let's say, Dirt 5, and you have a profile set to that, your monitor will automatically switch to that profile the moment the game is opened. This sure beats the heck out of fiddling with a little toggle switch on the back of the display. By the way, if you want to enable something like FreeSync very quickly, just one click here at the bottom, and there you go, give the uh, screen in a few seconds, it'll load back in with FreeSync enabled. Easy as that. Back to gaming for a second. A lot of higher refresh rate panels are used again for like esports games, uh, and those aren't the ones that I really play. I play a lot of racing games. I'll play uh, just simulator games, things like that. And so you don't really need a super high refresh rate for those, but for racing, you certainly could use it. And we're only at 60 to 70 FPS here uh, in the low preset. I'm actually streaming this from a laptop, but you can still see that the panel suits it nicely. Uh, colors look really good. It's very smooth. And the fact that it's only 1080p means that you can fully saturate the resolution of this display without really taking a huge hit on the frame rate for whatever hardware you're running. If this was a 27Q in 1440p, our frame rate would drop just a bit more. Granted, the refresh rate of that panel also drops to 165 versus 240 here. Personally, I don't see a huge difference between 165 and 240. It's definitely there. And if you're used to 240, reverting back is going to be, um, noticeable. It's certainly nowhere near as bad as 60 hertz, but it's definitely something that you kind of just grow accustomed to, and then when it suddenly changes, it could bother you just a tad. Uh, my sweet spot, I think, is 1440p 165, so the panel I would choose personally is the 27Q, which is already available, mind you. Uh, this one being released around the time this video goes live, the 27F, uh, is one that's, you know, it's going to save you 20, 30 bucks or so, but uh, I think the real value is in the 1440p variant. All in all, I think the NZXT Canvas 27F is a viable option. For gamers and content creators alike, I think the color accuracy is high enough for content creators to even consider this as a budget option, a budget solution. Again, I personally would opt for the, the QHD variant. The 1440p panel is going to have a higher PPI, of course, and in the same aspect, the same uh, uh, display size. Uh, I think that's that's going to be the sweet spot. It usually is. My personal monitors are 1440p 165 hertz, just like the 27Q that you can find in the Canvas line. Uh, but the 27F is a slightly more budget-oriented approach, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, with having additional options at your disposal. Combine that with the fact that NCXT has removed the monitor stand as a forced bundle, so to speak, that means you've got a pretty competitive price point as well. This isn't the cheapest 
27 inch 1080p 240 hertz IPS panel out there, but it, it does compete with a lot on the market. And I think that more options is always better for the average consumer. If you wanna learn more about the Canvas 27F and other NZXT Canvas monitors, be sure to check out viable links at the top of this video's description. Big thanks again to NZXT for sponsoring this one. Let me know what you think about these monitors, if you'll entertain an NZXT monitor in the future, or what you'd like to see included in future iterations of Canvas panels. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, consider subscribing, give this one a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.